Hi there folks, Mr. Teslonian back here again. Really quickly, uh, I set up a little spot. I've got some high winds going today. I've been trying to do this shot for the last few minutes. Uh, I can't keep the lighter lit to show you what's going on here. I want to show you the crude oil, the bio crude, actually burning and in action so you can see that it's actually quite flammable. So give me just a moment here. I'm going to walk over there, scrape some up, light it on fire and show you what it can do. All right, so what we got here is we got one stick that I just set up in another shot. I may use that later on, so I'm not going to light that now. We're going to start from fresh. Uh, we've got some cardboard here. I'm going to go ahead and shred a little chunk of it up. Uh, this is a funnel. Well, here, we'll start with this. This is the jar that we had the amber-looking crude inside of. Uh, that was that jar we were watching fill. I've dumped most of the lighter liquid out of there and right now, if you look inside of there, there's this layer of a very golden oil that's very heavy, very sticky, that doesn't want to come out of there very easily. So I'm going to wipe this piece of cardboard around inside of there and we're going to take a sample and see how well it burns. You can see it's actually a good oil when you put it in there. My hands are going to get very covered here trying to do this. All right, so. You can see here we've got a nice sample of that bio crude oil there, some on my fingers. If the winds will allow us here, let's see how it lights. So there you go, just a brief moment in the lighter and we've got ignited fuel. Uh, the wind is shifting on me a bit here so it's going to be difficult to see the flames going to the opposite way all of a sudden. But it's an aggressive burn. You can see the black smoke from the uh, oil burning off the top of that. All right, so there's one good test, and it doesn't want to go out. There we go. Uh, let me go ahead and take another piece of this cardboard. Oh, uh, here, we'll use a stick this time, just to show you it on a piece of wood. We'll take that jar once again. I'm going to get even oilier this time. Try to wipe it around in there and get some of that oil to cover that stick for a good sample here. So there you go, we basically were able to cover that entire stick with this bio crude that's inside of there. Let's see how well we can get it to light here. So there you go, just a moment with the lighter and some wind cooperation to keep it going from the right direction. And there's your bio crude on fire. Highly flammable fluid. You can see it's raging right towards my fingers there. I'm going to have to let it go. Got me a little bit of a burn, but there you go. So that's your bio crude in action. It's highly flammable, uh, usable fuels. Once again, just another sample here. Since my hands are already covered, I'll take another piece of wood here and try to saturate it with some more of this oil. So as you can tell here, I'm just really trying to wipe that stick around in there, making a good mess of everything, trying to put a good coating so you can really see that this is quite a flammable oil. Hopefully it doesn't light all the way up to my fingers there, huh? No, it'll be all right. So here we go. Obviously that stick is heavily covered. Once again, if wind's permitted for us here, we're going to put that up. And there you go. You're already on fire. Highly flammable fluid, as you can tell. We had a little bit of a traveling uh, cinder there for a second. So there you go, a lot of fuel energy, as you can tell, it's still traveling. Set that down, starting to get hot. Well, I hope that's a good example and demonstration. Uh, the winds are changing without the oxygen to the underside. Once again, I'll relight that for you. and it's basically used up all its fuel energy. Uh, so there's your bio crude in action, just to show you that it is obviously a very flammable substance. Uh, the crude that we were burning here is actually what came out of this container. If I hold that jar out, that's that amber colored, not even the darkest of it all. 
That was actually the dark crude that you saw on the bottom of the jar when I showed it to you in the earlier film uh, without the lighter stuff in there. So that's what that looked like and without any real distillation or anything it's obviously highly flammable fuel. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time this is Mr. Tesslonian and the Tesslonian Man Show. Hi folks, Mr. Tesslonian back here again. I want to take you through how to convert this bio crude oil I just showed you how to make in the prior films into a usable fuel. Uh, a quick demonstration of how this is going to work. We have a gasifying cook stove back here that's going to provide our heat. We have a test tube here. And in that test tube what I've done, and in the prior video, this is test tube number one with the thickest and the darkest of the crude we produced out of the very first collector in the system. And that's what we're running through first. So we're going to start in line and run each one of these and see which one produces the best fuels the easiest. Uh, so I have that right now inside of this test tube. It's going to run up through this condenser I showed you. I pulled the condenser off of the other project. It goes into the first collector, comes out and into a secondary collector and out of the top of that again. That should give us some kind of indication of fuel production. So let me go ahead without any ado here and start this fire up in the gasifier and see if we can't get our production started. I'm going to have to have gloves on and start moving this gasifier out from underneath this quite a bit. I don't need that much flame. It'll be way more than I need. Uh, so I'm going to have to kind of be on this while we're doing this shot. Alright, so here we go. Fire starting. Now, over on the other side there, what I can do is probably zoom in the camera as we get this cooking up a little bit and show you the actual fuel stilling out inside of those jars, in the collector jars. Uh, I just want to show you it starting up first. See if we can't move that back just a little bit. We don't need that much flame. I've got some good gloves on here so I'll be able to mess with it a bit. Should have made a little handle on it. Might have been quite a bit easier. That's the next project maybe on the gasifying stove. Alright, so there we go. We got some flame going here. Uh, what we're going to do now is go ahead and I'm going to zoom in on those collectors and see if we can't show fuel being produced here. So give me just a second here to readjust this camera. Alright, there we go. Now there's a sticker right in front of that one. Uh, so it'll still give you some kind of indication there, kind of jumping around. You should be able to see exactly what's being produced in the system right there. So we're going to go ahead and let this run now. I'm going to have to adjust this flame quickly. It's gotten pretty big. Alright, so I'm going to let the film run. I'm going to talk a little bit through it here why I'm adjusting this flame. Uh, I've got quite a big flame, quite a big system I'm using here. I could have made a smaller gasifier for this. It's basically my Bunsen burner I'm using here. Alright, I can hear the crude starting to bubble in there just a little bit, so I'm going to back the flame off slightly. Now one of the things I have inside of that copper tube that I showed you, that was attached to the top end 